and new at 11, a candidate for Miami Beach City Commission in tears. Rafael Velasquez saying the sexual harassment accusations against him from two women are not fair. Here's CBS 4's Silva Harapetian. It's not fair. It's just not fair. With tears in his eyes, Rafael Velasquez vowed to push forward with his campaign for Miami Beach Commissioner days after Miami Beach Commissioner Kristen Rosen Gonzalez, once his mentor, claimed he exposed himself to her in a car. We heard that your staff resigned yesterday. No, that, 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 that is wrong. Just hours after the allegation, his treasurer, Gustavo Perez, field director, Michael Thoens, and campaign chair, Anch Grover, resigned from their positions. Velasquez shrugged the news and said, that only one of them was on a payroll. A few volunteers that like helped me, you know, they they would they they withdrew their support. His campaign chair confirms neither he nor the treasurer were being paid, but their positions were essential to the campaign. They decided to resign after they say they no longer believed in their candidates' values. When you're having uh, numerous allegations coming in, and I'm uh, you know having a hard time. Uh, Understanding exactly uh, the whole, you know, the whole, the whole realm of everything, um, and at that point, it became it, a pattern. Hours after Kristen Rosen Gonzalez went public, another woman, a publicist, came forward, claiming he groped her while taking a photo. He apologized to the woman for what he calls a compliment, but denies ever touching her. She released text messages. One that reads, "You felt good." You felt good. Um, that doesn't sound like that was that was not a physical. Yeah, as, as I said, I mean, you text quick. I mean, it felt good to see her. You know, felt good to see her. It's been a while. You know, so I mean, if I made a typo, if I I, I, I apologize for. He says he's going to stay focused on the campaign and let the voters decide. Early voting has already begun. Election day, November seventh. I'm Silva Harapetti on CBS 4 News tonight.